In the Dysart Unified School District, we believe that all students can and will learn. And our goal is to provide practices that are consistent across all schools while being meaningful and relevant for all stakeholders. On the basis of our belief that grades should show what a student knows and is able to do, we develop guidelines for consistently and objectively reporting student academic achievement. Grading guidelines for the Dysart Unified School District are grounded in research-based best practices to ensure consistency and meaning when assigning grades to students in kindergarten through sixth grade. All schools will utilize these district-developed grading practices in order to maintain a careful record of all grades assigned to students. Grading guidelines take into account the learning process. Children learn new skills by practice and new content by actively processing the concepts. The teacher will provide encouragement and feedback to students in order to improve their results. They will then measure what the students know and can do. The grading guidelines for kindergarten through sixth grade are broken up into three main categories. Achievement of learning goals, measuring the learning process, and measuring the learning practice. The measurement of individual achievement of learning goals will account for 60% of a student's overall grade. Multiple measures of learning will be provided for students to demonstrate achievement on skills and concepts that are taught during the school year. These include tests, quizzes, writing assignments, projects, labs, or any rubric-based assignments. Measurements of the learning process will account for 30% of a student's overall grade. This category accounts for teachers and peer-supported learning activities that take place during class time. Examples include shared reading, actors theater, group discussions, and group projects. The final category is the measurement of learning practice, which accounts for 10% of a student's overall grade. An example of this area is homework. Students will also be given the opportunity to retake assessments. The best preparation for the world beyond school is to learn essential content and skills well. We hold students accountable for essential content when we permit retakes on assessments. Students will continue to practice and learn until they can show mastery. The following guidelines are provided for retakes. Retakes should be given in a timely manner to facilitate the continuity of student learning. Retakes must be taken no later than four weeks from the original assessment and no later than the end of the quarter. In order to retake, the student is required to provide evidence of further practice, which can be substantiated by either teacher, tutor, or parent sign-off. In order to retake at least 80% of homework and classwork assigned leading up to the assignment assessment must be completed. The grade reflected in the gradebook is the best grade from all of the retake attempts. Additionally, an important component for the grading system is communication to parents concerning academic progress of students, both as a monitoring measure throughout the school year as well as a final report card. Parents are informed regularly as to their students' progress not less than four times per year and when their students' performance becomes a cause for concern. Additionally, grades are updated weekly within our online grading system. The use of consistent K-6 through grading guidelines provides students with opportunities to master content and demonstrate proficiency. Parents will have current, up-to-date information about their students' academic progress. This unified focus on grading practices will support a culture of learning across the Dysart District for each student on their journey to be college and career ready.